Well, this is what I've been working on the last couple of days. Um, I had some racks up here. They, they look like this. There were some metal ones that I had made years and years ago when I first built the shop to hold my sockets. And they worked pretty good. The problem was as you get more sockets and you get different sets and you get stuff like that, they don't fit in there. So I wanted to make something different that was a little bit uh, more versatile where I could change things up and stuff like that. So um, they went right here and then this rack was so big I had to move my wrenches so I had to do this part over here and uh, moved my uh, socket wrenches up here. The, uh, I'm not, still don't know that I'm just completely satisfied with this. It's just a magnetic strip that holds them up there, but it works fine. So we'll see how I get along with that. Uh, let me move you in here and show you a little bit more too. All right, so let me just walk through it real quick. These are flare nut wrenches, and I couldn't figure out another way to hang these other than on a magnetic strip. And then I've got my uh, extensions and my socket wrenches, and then all of my sockets down here. I got claw foots here, wrenches down here and here, and some other ones um, over there. This is a rack that I made for my pliers that I, I really like. I mean, you can see how many pliers it holds. Cleared up a whole lot of wall space. So the main thing I want to talk about today is this socket rack right here. Now, it's made up of these racks that you get at Harbor Freight. They're a dollar a piece. They come in quarter, three-eighths, and half inch. The nice thing about them is, uh, well, they're a dollar. And the second thing is that all of these fit the same rack. So you can take one off of a, you can take a three-eighths and add it to a, a strip that's just made for a quarter inch and stuff like that. So as you look across here, I may have quarter inch and half inch or three-eighths on different racks. And they come on and off really easy. You can just pop them off of there. Well, they're easier to slide off the end. But when you go to put them on, you can just snap them on there like that. Just like that. Now, to get the sockets on and off, if you just tug them down, they just pop right off. And then you put them back on like that. So they stay on there pretty well. These are set to a 30 degree angle, tipped out. Uh, the reason is, if I stood them straight up and then put them shelf above, I'd have to have twice the height almost to be able to get them out and put them back in there. This makes it so that I can uh, you know, pull them off and put them back on uh, real easy like that. Now, I'll show you a little bit on how I made this rack. So I've laid out each step of each one of the shelves and now I'm just going to get it cut out on the bandsaw. So I've laid a line down the bench to get these square. And now I'm just placing these, each one an inch and a half off the end. So it's gonna hang over an inch and a half on each end.
So then after I got it built, I just, you know, screwed these in place. Well, actually, the very first thing I did was I got all these strips and, you know, got all my sockets organized on them like this to know how many rows I needed and all of that and how far apart they needed to be. And it took a long time. It's taken me a couple of days to get this project done. Um, and then screw these in place. And then I made these labels. And I'll do a separate video on labeling this because I don't know if anybody's really interested in that. But um, if you've ever tried to label something like this to get the numbers in the right place, it's kind of a difficult thing to do. But um, anyway, as I looked around to find a way to organize my sockets, I couldn't find a really good option for me. I wanted to put them on the wall. Most things you find go in a drawer and they have little plastic studs that stick up. And I've had those before and they break off. And So anyway... I'm hoping this is going to work really well for me. I hope this might be a good idea for you. Well, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.